Hey guys, this is Tony from Lomo Paintball, and today I'm going to go over the Virtue Vio Ascend goggle. First off, guys, we got this goggle in a little bit ago. I just kind of wanted to do a quick review uh, since this goggle is such a good price point at right around 80 bucks. Once again, the Virtue Vio Ascend. I'm going to pull it out of the box. The first thing I'd like to go over on this goggle, since a lot of these, you know, you guys, YouTube viewers ask, how do you change your lens on this goggle? How do you change the lens on that goggle? I'm going to pull it on out of the box so you can get a good look at it. A little side profile for you. So you can kind of see what we're working with. And then the back as well. Look at the strap. Okay, guys, so once again, I said about the lens. I don't know how well he can get in here with the camera, but this one's pretty easy to take out. There's two tabs, one on each side of the goggle that literally says push here. You're gonna push the tab inward, push it in, and slide the clip right on out the back side of the goggle. Same on this side. There's a tab that says push here. Follow the instructions, push it in, and pop this clip right out the back. Now that the clips are undone, you can rotate the swivel, rotate this inward, rotate the other side inward, and then your lens should pop right on out of the front of the goggle. The best part about the Virtue Vio Ascend, it can take all the other lenses, visors, straps, and replacement foams as the other ones. So this one, this goggle has 18 different options of lenses you can put in there along with 16 different options of visors you can put on here, along with 35 different strap options you can put on the back, along with replacement foam. So basically this goggle, uh, retail price of right around $80, could go up, could go down, but that's where it's at as of right now. Um, an excellent goggle. It does have the dual layer foam in here, easily clips out, and you can put new foam in. You know, if you play a lot, summertime, you're pretty sweaty the foam starts to break down on you over time, you can just easily pull it up and out and clip new foam in there. You don't have to get a new goggle, basically. A lot of people, that's the biggest complaint is, oh, my foam's done. If there's not a replacement, you're kind of you're kind of SOL out there because the foam is bad and it's not comfortable on your face anymore. Other than that, the actual profile of this goggle is really nice. I like it. I'm a bigger guy and it pretty much covers most of my jawline and the chin. And it does, if you can see on the camera, it has a ton of breathability on there. So these goggles aren't gonna fog up on you. They are at a great price point. And uh, this is something that's gonna get you out on the field, tournament field most likely, uh, for right around $80. So once again, guys, the breathability on this goggle is amazing. It's got a ton of extra ventilation holes. And a lot of goggles, since they don't have all the ventilation holes as the Virtue Value Ascend does, you can't really project your voice out there. You're yelling into your goggle, trying to talk to your other teammates, and it's echoing. You can hear yourself. You can't really hear that well. With this goggle, it gets your voice out there through all of these ventilation holes so people can actually hear you. So now, you know, just while I'm putting this lens back in, uh, I want to say, once again, the price point on this goggle is amazing at the $80 mark, and also the featureability with the lens, the visor, the straps, and the replacement foam, you really can't beat it. So once again, guys, this is the Virtue Vio Ascend goggle, and uh, I would highly recommend it. All right, guys, now that we're at the end of this video, I kind of wanted to get a couple of the, the other goggles lined up so you can see the uh, profile compared to Right here, we have the new Die i5, and over here we have the Empire EVS. You can kind of see the profile. I'm gonna do front and then side, and then I'm gonna put each one of them on so you can kind of see you know, what they look like on an actual face. All right, so basically, here's the Die i5 with the new ratchet trap back. Here's the side. This is the Virtue Ascend. Here's the side, and this is the Empire EVS. Here's kind of the side profile. And now what I'm going to do, this is going to be the Die i5 with the new ratchet strap, as you can see on the back. I'm just going to toss this on real quick. Kind of see the profile, not sure. I'm sure my, my fat face is sticking out of this, but that's fine. You can see that. This is the Die i5. This is going to be the, the main Virtue Ascend. Chin strap included, new rules for this year, 2017. Yeah, still sticking out, but I'm a bigger guy. So here we go. This is the Virtue Ascend. And then here is the Empire EVS.
Definitely covers a little bit more. Um, good goggle. I would say out of all of them, honestly, the comfortability of this Virtue Ascend, the foam's really soft. Here you have a $180 goggle, here's an $80 goggle, and here's a $150 goggle. So it's up to you. You'd have to you know, try them on, see what fits you best. But once again, little comparison, Die i5, Virtue Ascend, Empire EVS. And there you have it, guys. It's up to you. Choose which one you like. I don't know if you guys could actually hear it with all the uh, microphones and camera, but uh, I felt like I could actually project my voice a little bit better with this Virtue Ascend compared to the other two. Not knocking either product, but this one has more ventilation. You can get your voice out without the echo. Once again, don't know if you saw that or heard that on camera. So that's that, guys. All three of these goggles are available in store or online. LoneWolfPaintball.com or call, give us a call or come in store. 586 463 9500. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And have a good one.